Okay, then I will continue to. So we finish our preparation, and then actually uh, we will check the what is the result from rectangular. So if I check about panel, and if I connect, what is the point here? Do you see that? Uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, which is basically this point, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So do you see the idea? That's why I selected the grid point, because this is what the point we collect from rectangular grid. So we just kind of, we prepared our uh, uh, basic 2DCA model. And then what I'm going to do is I will uh, populate uh, those points using CA uh, Evolver, which is basically, which one is actually this one. So this one is actually, this icon will generate the population from T0, T1, T2. And this one needs cellular automata, which is I'm connecting this one. And this one also needs discrete time. Discrete time is when T0, T1, T2. So this one for this one, this one has icon called discrete time. So I connect discrete time to the DT. And then what we need is here is actually we need a uh, slide bar. I just set it as 50, which means T is 50. And I connect it. So this one is actually the time 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we are going to use number slider to see the T time. So, so far I set it as 0. So now we are ready to generate uh, populations. And then now we are going to collect the latest value, which is if t is 0, we are going to collect the value from t is 0. And if t is 10, we can collect the result the value from when t is 20. So basically what we are going to do is we can know what is the population when is t is 1, t is 2, t is 3, and t is 4. So if you check it, the result from CA configuration, you will see that when t is 5, 121 cells states. So which means is t is 20, I don't know why it's 25. So let's say that this one is saying that a kind of rule is generated here. And then what I will check is then point cell state, okay, a little bit, okay, uh, not this one. So see evolver, and then I will collect the latest value, which is cell component, which is this one. This one is collect the latest uh, result from that population when t is a certain value. So I connect it to cell automata configuration. And then I will check actually the value from here. So point cell, do now here is that there is or 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 point here. If you check cell state, I will connect in here. And then another panel. If I connect to cell state, you see that false, 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 false. Everything is false for now on. So now let's, because this one is first at this state, if I change a little bit, still or four, is there any true? There's no true here. Okay, I'll check again. What? Cell or tomato? Not filter point cell, probably some problem with here, probably. So cell be your grid point. Okay, I'll just continue and I will check what is wrong here. Okay, I will check this one as true. I'll set point here and custom state configuration. Okay, let's I will just continue to that. So this will collect it. And then what I'm going to do, okay, then this, if it does not work, it doesn't really matter. Sorry for that. So there is point force, 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 force. I'll check. Okay, I'll change some initial point. Uh, so I'll select point set multiple point. I'll okay. I will try something else. Okay. And point set as true. Point. Anything missing? So okay, that looks good. Discrete time, I'm checking. Still there. Uh, so now you see that there's a true, true, true here. Okay, so now it is generating. I think, I think accidentally I pick a point that will create a zero, 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 like still life. 
Okay, so now I have it. Then I will cut it here to save it properly.